I did also want to come on here and say that a lot, like, I can't, between a lot of people who are close to him and who have experienced how he is, I mean, just lashed out at anyone he can and completely changed the person that he is, a lot of us feel like maybe something is wrong, like, mentally, I don't know. It, he's older, I, I, I don't know, but he has completely changed. <laughs> I will come on here and talk about whatever I want because it's my life and I'm the one suffering. So, he has completely changed. The couple texts I just had, those are only the beginning. I'm going to go through them if he's going to... I don't want to post a ton. But if he tries to say that, like, it's not happening, I will... I have screen recordings, I have voice memos of things that you... It doesn't sound like a human being. He's, like, shrieking and yelling and... I mean, he sounds, like, possessed. So, I will say, I'm not even sure if it's, like, to his credit, but the best explanation I have is something mental going on. Because I used to be very close to my dad. He used to be a good co-parent, close with my mom, my stepdad. He was his godfather to my little brothers. We all went on vacation together every year. Like, very close. Well, well after the divorce. Everyone was really happy. When he had business ventures, my mom would invest in them. Like, good friends. He'd come stay with us. Like, we'd come stay there. We Like, all the time. Everyone together. And then really, he suddenly just decided that, like, if we don't agree, it's, oh, you're all bitches like your mother. I hate you. All these fucking bitches are the same. Oh, my. I mean, he's just a different person. Like, I, he has, like, looked me in the eye. And I've been like, I need help. I, w- I was in Greece doing the camp, and I was like, you cut off my debit card. I only got like a hundred, couple hundred dollars a month as a minor. And I was like, I'm in a foreign country, and my debit card won't work. I can't even add money to it. Can you help me? And he was just like, no, I, I sure hope that you don't die on the streets of, of Thessaloniki. And I was like, no, no, like I'm really stranded out here. Um, I need help. And he's like... Well, I sh- maybe you should ask your mother not to sue me. And I'm like, you're suing her. And he's like, well, maybe when you bitches decide you're going to like be reasonable, I'll help you. And I'm like, this is unsafe. It's nighttime. I like, what? You cut me off out of nowhere. And he did it like on purpose. He was like, oh, enjoy camp. I put some, like, you're good to go. I put money in your car. And then he cut it off when I landed. So I'd be stranded. My mom helped me. It was fun. Worst things have happened. I'm just saying he'll like look me in the eye and be like, well, maybe when you bitches decide to... Like, threatening me. So, I felt that was important to include. Because if we do continue to get into it, and some of the things that I post are going to look crazy. And I agree, they're crazy. And it would honestly make me feel better if something was severely wrong. Because this is just not the father that I know. Or the father that I've had. You know, like... To this day, I don't even, I would never let a man talk any kind of way to me because my dad was always good to me. And then he just completely changed. So I just want to include that, that it could be that. And you don't, I don't know his mental situation, but like he used to do kind of crazy stuff and then say he had COVID. So we'd all call him or if we'd say, hey, I need some space because all you do is tell me how awful I am and how I have my mom's awful, shitty, bitch ass cunt genetics. So, hey, like, I'm in school, and can you not harass me when I'm in school? He wasn't paying for school, by the way. Can you not harass me? And then I would say, I'm going to take some time.